It's time for the first bookshop vlog of the year. I am really excited for today. I'm going to a brand new bookstore. I've never been there before and I'm meeting up with a friend, I think. I don't know. You ever feel like it's too soon to call someone a friend? Like, uh, I don't really know yet. Anyway, we're going to a romance bookstore today and I actually wanted to go to this bookstore when I was in New York last year, but I didn't because I just didn't have enough time and I found out that they have a location here in LA. So we are gonna go to the romance bookstore. I don't have any romance books that I have not read. There's one that I'm working on, which is Seven Days of Summer. I don't know, I've kind of hit like a lull. Like I want new romance books. The last few weeks, I've been reading a ton of thrillers. So I just want something like lovey-dovey and fluffy. But I hope that I find something good. Oh gosh, I worked out yesterday and I am sore. Eat it. The parking is absolutely insane, so I'm in a parking garage. The goal today is to get, I would say five books. I think I'm gonna go with five. I want four to be black authored books. I really don't have any black authored books right now, so I'm gonna prioritize that. I want at least one enemies to lovers trope, because those are always my favorite, and I also think they're like really funny. I generally go for funny rom-com type books, so that's like my style. What else do I want? I may get Icebreaker, I don't know. I wanna see what options they have i typically don't like a lot of popular tiktok books so we will see what else is available i usually don't dabble in series but i'm gonna maybe give it a shot this year so i'm gonna probably get one series book one series one enemies lovers four black author books and five books in total let's see if we can do this i don't know this is like a hefty list i kind of feel a little like <sighs> <sighs> tense but all right how do i get out of this parking lot this is such a cute little area i like this it is so hot out here like i it was it was 50 degrees when i left and now it's 60 and i'm sweating but i did just see francesca so it shouldn't be long she was looking for parking and then we're gonna head inside and look for some books i have no idea what kind of book she likes so this will be really fun for both of us to figure out like what our book styles are so the name of the store is called The Rip Bodice. They also have a location in New York City, like I said earlier, but the outside was really cute. So they have like all the books that are wrapped up with the different romance tropes. And once we headed inside, it was like being in my own wonderland. Everything was so pretty and so cute. And I literally stopped and talked to Francesca at this one bookshelf for about the entire trip. I'm really into contemporary romance, so I don't really like fantasy, I don't really like fiction, but I did look at all the other bookshelves they had, and some of the shelves are actually sponsored by individual people, so they put together a collection of the romance novels that they like, so this could be either a mix of different subgenres or just one entire subgenre, but me and Francesca talked for so long about just like random books and things we liked about books, and she told me that she used to work at a bookstore, one of the most famous bookstores in LA, and it's where a lot of celebrities will go to buy their books so if you want to see that in the next vlog let me know because I love a celebrity spotted anyway I was looking at all the books and I just couldn't even figure out where to start so I asked an employee to help me and she was so helpful she um it's like basically like just like shitting on like men and then love that I made the little 52 books wow but you know, like a book a week <laughs> yeah but I had like a huge reading slump, so I didn't read for like three months. So I was like pushing through the last like four months of the year to like read, so I, I would average like 10 to 14 books a month. It was a lot, it was a lot. So I'm trying to like pace myself this wow. year. <laughs> but what's funny though, like I'll watch other book you, booktubers and they'll be like, yeah, I read 170 books this year. And I'm like, what the fuck? How? Like what? What am I missing? So yeah. And again, like, you know, a lot of people get books for free, but like, still oh, yeah, sit down so, and yeah. read. Though, it's still just big. Like, yeah. yeah, so like a lot of people do like mix of like audiobooks or like physical books, but I am now like a physical book girly. Like I cannot go back. I don't know. I'm like, maybe I'll be in a different era where I can like do audiobooks again or like podcasts again. But right now I'm just like, for physical book, I need it. So. I feel like it's so much better. I'll always prefer it. Like, like even with the Kindle, even with audiobook, like at the end of the day, I'm sorry, but the bookstore should still exist. Like you should still hold it in your hand. Like you need to feel the pages. Yeah, turn the it's like, yeah, it all adds to the experience. Yeah. That's what I think too. Like, yeah. And I used to read a lot on my iPad, but now I, I don't even do that anymore. So, yeah. Oh, I love this one. Actually, this author just got picked up by, um, hmm. oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, what? It's basically going to be turned into a series. So all of her books are going to be on a TV series. And then Devon and Chris went a wedding. That one was absolutely hilarious. That one's like a, um, what's it called? A black Hispanic novel. It's like a, um, which one? They're a couple. Chris and Devon playing a wedding. It's a, a queer story where they're both on a reality TV show and they have to convince their family that they're getting married in six weeks, but they've never met each other. So, like, the premise of a reality show is that they take their family with them to plan the wedding, but, like, they're also, like, just getting to know each other because they literally just met. So, it's really funny. One girl um, is an influencer and has never been, like, in a long-term relationship. It's been, like, just three girls, like, whatever. And the other girl hasn't even come out to her family, so her family doesn't know she's gay. So, <laughs> yeah, and, like, she, like, she basically outs herself on television. Like, it's, yeah, it's real. it's high spice, though, and it's really good, so. I feel like I always have to tell people, like, yeah, so this is, like, high spice and medium spice. Just so, yeah, like, you no, know. that's, yeah, <laughs> because, I appreciate like, it. <laughs> if you're reading, you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's definitely happened to me. My husband will be like, what, what, is, what is this? <laughs> what the hell are you reading? Why are you acting like that? Like, <laughs> you're like, you're like, acting like that. <laughs> Being in the store to me feel like I need to step up my romance book game because there's just so many novels that I haven't read, but there's so many that I have heard of and I just have not touched because I always just get stuck on mysteries and thrillers. Like those are my books. That is my bread and butter. I did like that they had a blind date with a book section. I don't know if any of those blind dates were with black books. That's why I didn't end up getting any, but the store did start getting a little busy. I don't know how long we were here. We were here for at least an hour. It had to be even more. Like I was just so enthralled with all the books and so was Francesca. And also the employees were super sweet and really fun. Like anytime I would talk to any of them about a book, they would literally just go off on it. So I feel like all of them have read a majority of the books in this bookstore. Like that is what I aspire to do someday because I don't know if I've read that many romance books. But this is by far the hardest part of every single bookshop trip because I have to figure out what books I'm gonna put back and what books I'm gonna keep. And I did stay to five books for this trip. Afterwards, we did grab a quick bite. So Francesca got some oysters and I grabbed some bubble tea. I really wasn't hungry at this point, but we just sat and talked and chatted and it was really a lot of fun. I also really like this area. I will definitely be back to this part of the city in the future. All right, I am back from the bookstore and my bag ripped so that made me sad but let me know if you guys want me to go back to the romance bookstore for valentine's day because i think that would be a really cute video we are gonna go through all of the books that i got today i did get five and i did pretty much stick to my goals kind of i will say this trip i spent more time talking than i did actually reading the backs of books so honestly i don't really have a great idea of what these books are about <laughs> what I heard and what I remember because there was a black girl that worked in the store and I just told her all the things I was looking for and she just like guided me around the store and I I didn't read that many backs of books today to be totally honest like me and Francesca talked a lot too so and my wild card is actually a mystery <laughs> so I just I, mysteries are my favorite I literally can't help it like I am just gonna be a mystery girl let's just start with the mysteries so we can get that one out of the way and that's about all the romance novels by the way if you guys have read any of these novels let me know what you think about it in the comments so um i can know like which one to start with first like i'm not still really sure mystery is called how to kill men and get away with it i have not read a single sentence from this book but i agree yes i think more women should be doing this honestly so the book is about a girl that was being stalked by this man and she obviously didn't want to be followed by him anymore so she decides to kill him and she um gets away with it so <gasps> I think this is great. If you are a book agent, I want more books like this. I think this is noteworthy. Like more women should be doing this and this is entirely a thousand percent legal and you cannot convince me otherwise. I feel like this is gonna be a really great book. I cannot wait to read it. It is pretty short, it's like 350 pages, which is a usual mystery like length. I haven't done a mystery video yet and there's so many mysteries that I've been reading and yeah, even though I wanted to get romance novels, I somehow still end up getting 
a murder mystery. So yeah, this one I will definitely include. I'm gonna include all the books in a future recap video so you can see what I actually think about it after I read it. But before even reading a single word from this book, I a thousand percent agree. Like I know I'm probably gonna like this. On to the romance novels. I got four, so let's talk about them. So first one is Honey and Spice, and I have seen a lot of other booktubers, specifically black booktubers, talk about this book, but I have not gotten it myself. So from what the uh, bookstore girl told me is that this is about two academics already, I've already connected to it, but two academics that work for each other and they have secret goals, I'll say. So this is an enemies to lovers tropes and basically a woman is a radio TV show host where she just hates men and she like talks shit about all these men and she decides to do this experiment where she's gonna date one of the men that she is like a typical guy that she like does not like. So she starts talking to this guy and on the flip side he is also doing his own little experiment where he is trying to date this girl so they have their own like side ambitions I will say they both literally do not like each other at all but they end up dating so this is gonna be interesting like I said I've seen it before I haven't heard any reviews though like I've just seen the cover everywhere so of course I'll let you guys know what I think in a future video next is you've been served this is like an academic book as well it's funny half the books I got were academic and the other half were wedding books anyway so this one is about a girl who decides to go back to school. So she's going back to school, to law school. She is trying to navigate her way through law school where she meets this guy who is super obnoxious and um, really not her type. It is more like career driven. Back of the book says it's perfect for fans of Legally Blonde and The Hating Game. And I personally love Legally Blonde. Like I still quote that movie to this day. So yeah, this one is definitely up my alley. I just love books too where there is a female character with a strong career. Like if she's ambitious and driven and focused in her career like I like a thousand percent re uh, relate to those characters so that's why I picked this one up this one I did pick out myself literally everything else somebody else picked up for me <laughs> so, yeah, I'm interested to see how this goes this one is a pretty thick one or at least like the print is pretty big so it is about 300 pages but I'm excited to read this one um I don't know which I'm gonna start with yet this next one Francesca actually recommended and this is by Jasmine Guillory actually quite a few people in the comments have talked about Jasmine Guillory and like are you should read the book you should read Jasmine Guillory like I've seen her Goodreads everywhere and I actually have seen this cover everywhere but I have never picked up one of her books and this is my series that I want to be starting because she does have a whole series with these characters I am interested to take a look because she's so popular so I want to know like what the hype is actually about but essentially this one is about a like a fake dating trope which I think is really interesting and really fun I also love the Christmas movies where it's like a fake dating trope like absolutely hysterical anyway um Alexa and Drew so the two main characters they get stuck in the elevator together and then they um start to pretend to be fake dating um for the purpose of going to this wedding so I'm really interested to see how this turns out like I said Francesca recommended this she has read most of the books from this series she's been trying to get back into reading but she was like this is it like I love this book it was pretty good so we shall see what I actually think about it the second book is called the proposal and they all play on different characters that are I think introduced in this book so again see what I think after I have read it and this last one um is not a black owned book so I only got three out of the five were black authored books but I tried my best I really did I had to put back a lot of books because the bookstore girl picked out so many for me I believe this is too much I need to put some back so I did six to five but I didn't get four black owned books anyway this one she was like this is one of my absolute faves and there was also another girl in the store that was like oh yeah I love this book like top five books for me in life and I was like all right if it's that good I'm gonna try it out another girl just said she read this book six different times now I'm not one to reread books like that like I will reread a few but not many so the fact that she said she reread it six times I'm like okay it must be good but this is definitely an enemies to lover strokes and again the bookstore girl picked it out for me this book is about a girl who is a wedding planner and um, she is hired to plan a wedding alongside one of her exes who is a florist so if you've ever planned a wedding then you know that the wedding planner has to consult with all the other vendors to make sure that everything goes smoothly for the wedding so like i said they are exes and they absolutely despise each other they do not want to work together they are not at all on board with this but because this is their job they are forced to work with each other to plan this wedding and this is a second chance romance and normally i do not reach for second chance romances i usually don't reach for second chance romances because i'm just not a second chance 
girly. Like that's really not it. And I think that's why I'm not all that interested in Seven Days of Summer. Seven Days of Summer? Yeah, that's what it is. I have started reading it, but it's not like really captivating me because I just don't like second chances. Like me in my personal life, like I'm not really gonna do a second chance. Like you get one and you're done, that type of thing. So I don't know what to expect from this. But again, the girl said that was really good and the other girl said that she read it six times. So. I am hopeful that this will be a good book, but I think since both of their careers are involved and it's like a career driven focused type of novel that it will actually be interesting to me and I will be captivated. So I really hope this goes well, but these are all of the books that I bought. Again, I got five and books are getting expensive these days, y'all. Books are getting expensive. These were not cheap. I will let you guys know what I think about these books in a future recap video. But if you read any of them, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.